So how do you fix your dry foot skin? You got some ugly crusty heels like this that look like this here on the left and you want to get it looking like this. Well here's what you got to know first before you start your treatments because not every treatment will work for every dry foot. 70% of all dry cracked flaky itchy skin is due to inflammation and dehydration of the skin and 30% need inflammation to get better. So two different things, or two different treatment methods are needed. The 70% that are due to dry skin or inflammatory processes are very severe psoriasis, eczema that's just like itchy red skin, contact dermatitis, some sock or a shoe or something's irritating it, Aller allergic, something's bothering you. Dishydrosis, that means either your sock's not releasing moisture as well, you're getting really sweaty, it's building up, or you have some sweating disorders, and many, many more. So that's going to lead to dry, flaky, really bad skin that's going to itch and irritate you. And you can also have corns and calluses. So don't confuse these with just def generally dry and itchy skin. If you have these two, that th these are just pressure areas. So how do you get rid of the pain? For this kind of uh, scenario with the inflammatory processes, you got to focus on moisturizing, some petroleum jelly, uh, decreasing inflammation with some hydrocortisone creams, antibiotic creams if you have some it, uh, broken skin going on. you got to take foot baths to loosen that up and then eventually using a pumice stone or an emery board to get away to get it away. Now, if you do see your podiatrist or your doctor, there are heavy duty urea, lactate creams, but they could be a little bit more pricey. But if you find them at corner stores, by all means, go ahead. But the petroleum jelly should be good to take care of it. If you guys want to hear more, get to DetroitFootPain.com for exact specific guides. This is just a quick overview. Now, the other 30% are a condition called tinea pedis, or more commonly known as athlete's foot or foot fungus. So here you see one foot that has foot fungus compared to the other foot who probably just has a little bit around the heel. Right? This is probably actually dryness compared to tinea pedis. Could be anything. So how do you treat these? These are the opposite. You don't want to use hydrocortisone cream and, and just moisturizing to decrease inflammation. You specifically need antifungal medications. Go see your podiatrist, get some tough actin tenactin. Uh, any of the creams available you probably want to get a prescription but some lighter duty stuff is available over the counter and apply that to your foot what I always recommend is assume first that you have an inflammatory because if you had foot fungus you probably had it for months and months already an extra week isn't going to really mess you up too bad so try the moisturizing try the creams if it's not getting better if in fact it gets worse especially from the hydrocortisone, then assume it's foot fungus. But if all else fails, you shouldn't be taking advice from anybody on the internet that's including me. Everybody has their own unique situations, their, their own medical problems. So go see your doctor and get the prescription. But at the very least, I hope this is giving you a little bit of background knowledge on what may be causing your dry heels. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.